Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, we got something a little bit different here. Uh, as you can see, I got my Star Wars Arcade 1UP cabinet, if that's what you want to call it. Um, and well, the reason I decided to make this video is I recently got asked a question on if I still enjoy playing this. Now I got this in, I believe it was in October, it may, it may have even been September that I actually got this of uh, 2019. So right now it's early March 2020. By the time this video is released, it may even be around May or so. Um, so do I still play it? Do I still enjoy it? Absolutely. Um, I'm not a hardcore Star Wars arcade fan. Um, would I love to own the original cabinet? Part of me, yes. Uh, just because it is an iconic cabinet uh, part of me, no, because if something goes wrong with it, it's going to cost me an arm and a leg to get it repaired. But there's this thing. <clears throat> now, before we start, we'll just uh, show you my makeshift topper here. It's actually the popcorn bucket holder or bucket popcorn holder from Disneyland. And where's the button? There we go. You got the engine... Uh, shining there on and off really cool i did a video just on that it was a short video but uh yeah the reason i wanted it is one because it was cool and two i wanted to make it as a topper for this star wars arcade one up now you might be curious as to how i actually mounted it um yeah so what i used is actually a tablet holder you can see right there doesn't look, you know, phenomenal, but yeah, I just found a tablet holder, pretty much just stuck it to the back of the arcade one up, stuck it to the popcorn uh, bucket Millennium Falcon, used some Velcro, I think it was, I don't know. It's nothing extravagant, there's a bird outside that's tweeting, and uh, it's annoying, but anyways, yeah, from the front it looks really, really nice, at least I think so. Oh, I got my lightsaber here, kind of getting a little off topic. Uh, I got that at Disneyland. Let's see, right here. The lightsaber actually only cost me like 70 bucks. Um, the reason is because I used a lot of gift cards, uh, to, um, Disneyland gift cards. Yeah, I get that, uh, was it Savi's Workshop? I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, back to this thing. Um, do I still play it? Do I still enjoy it? Well, the answer is yes. Now, here's the thing. If you never saw my original videos on this, I think I made two. This I basically got for free. Um, what does that mean? Well, no, it wasn't given to me for free, but I got it using money that I normally wouldn't have and never, never would have had if it wasn't for one simple decision. Uh, long story short, I was, uh, helping to clean out the garage at my grandfather's, um, came across a box that was mine. I recognized the handwriting. I just thought it was a bunch of old junk. Haven't touched it in years. Totally forgot about it. Just for the heck of it, decide to open it up. And lo and behold, there was a large amount of arcade stuff that I had totally forgotten about. Uh, a couple Street Fighter II boards. I think there was some, um, or there was some CPS2 stuff, I believe. Kind of getting my ideas and stories mixed up here. Anyways, a bunch of stuff. Uh, ended up selling it, selling a majority of it to someone in a batch, uh, quote unquote, quickly, you know, sale. Um, a lot of stuff works, the stuff I just didn't ha have any use for anymore. Um, sell sold to them for a really good price, and with some of that money, I used it to purchase this Star Wars arcade one up. Now, this thing is uh, at the stores as of right now, still $500. Uh, 
Um, would I pay that for this? No, I wouldn't. Would I pay 400 for it? No. 300 eh, you got me thinking about it. 350 eh, I might be kind of pushing it. But, you know, I, I, I enjoy it. I really like it. My granddaughter plays this a lot. She enjoys it. Uh, we play Star Wars. We play Empire Strikes Back. And nobody plays Return of the Jedi. That's just the way it is. Um, you know, it is an arcade one-up. Uh, I will admit, it's actually surprised me as to how long it's lasted and the quality. Um, although not top-notch, and it is a very light machine. Remember, you can just, you know, tip it over real easy. You gotta be careful with these things. Um, I'm still impressed. I do like it. I still play it. For me, is it worth $500? No. Um... Am I glad I have it? Yes. If it was to break down, would I get it replaced? Not at 500. That's just me. Um, 300, maybe. It is pretty nice. The Star Wars yoke has surprised me. Um, I think it's very good quality for what it is. And yeah, really not sure what more to say, but um, you know, maybe let's just uh, play. Nothing extravagant. I can't get I can't get very far in these games, but let's just play and you know have a good time. Looks like it reset. He could destroy us. May the force be with you. Don't expect much here. There's a meteorite in the ground near here. Well, that's weird. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I selected Star Wars and not Return of the Jedi. Let's just reset. All right. Good try, standing by. play for another minute or so, but, you know, eh, I really didn't have anything else to record right now, so...
Well, there you go. Long story short, I'm still glad I have it. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.